Hi, uh, I'm going to talk about hypoglycemia. So hypoglycemia is low calcium levels, which are less than 8.5 milligrams per deciliter. So why does someone have hypoglycemia? Well, uh, first of all, we want to talk about the parathyroid gland, which is right here. What happens is that uh, maybe surgical removal or hypoparathyroidism just problems with it, it's, it can cause uh, hypoglycemia. Also, uh, other medical conditions, um, such as acute pancreatitis. So this is the pancreas, and it gets inflamed, and that can cause hypoglycemia. Also, hyperphosphatemia and hypomagnesemia can cause. You can remember low um, intake of vitamin D can cause hypoglycemia as well. And now, um, malabsorption too, that's important. So how can we remember the signs and symptoms or the clinical manifestations of this? Well, first we can look at this guy over here. So to remember this, we can go by CATS. Just remember CATS is the acronym. So C. C stands for convulsions and confusion. So you see he's convulsing and he's very confused. And A is for arrhythmias. His heart is not going a very good rhythm right there. Tetany. That's the muscles that are, you know, having spasms. And then osteoporosis. We want to remember that um, low calcium can cause osteoporosis because bones use cal calcium. Uh, and S starts, um, stands for spasms and strider. Now, see how his face is a little weird right there, right? Well, right here, this guy, this is what we call the Votex. can't really say it, but it means that when we tap on someone's cheeks, they just kind of jerk and contract and that's not common you know in someone healthy so that can happen or if you're taking someone's blood pressure and they suddenly jerk and contract their hands and they stay very rigid that can be a sign of hypoglycemia now what can we do to help people who have hypoglycemia well we want to protect them because they're confused and they can have convulsions we want to monitor their heart and their, their respiratory status. We want to give them more calcium, either by diet or um, IV. And we want to teach them about osteoporosis and teach them what, um, what can happen if they don't take more calcium. So that's it. I'm Belen Baigoria, RCC nursing student.